Instead of having time evolve along the same z-axis, we can add an axis that extends downward for time. This will allow us to spread all the leading edges of the signals out like an accordion so we can see all of them. When we do this, we get what is called a bounce diagram. Time t equals zero is right here. As time evolves, we move down this vertical axis z equals 0 is still on the left at the generator, and z equals L is on the right at the load. Our, our bounce diagram starts at t equals 0 at the upper left corner. What happens at t equals 0? The switch closes and we get our first V1 plus wave. So let's draw a line representing the leading edge of the V1 plus wave, propagating along the entire transmission line. Now the line for V1 plus does not just go perfectly horizontal across our bounce diagram. If it did, that would mean it propagates at infinite speed at the same snapshot in time. So how does the line representing the propagation of V1 plus look like? Instead of going straight across, when we draw the leading edge of the V1 plus wave, time evolves as it's propagating, and the line goes slanting downwards at an angle. and it looks like this. Let's say it takes capital T seconds for the wave to propagate down the transmission line. Then we can label the point where the V1 plus line, this one, matches or meets the Z equal L line with a capital T, like we did here. Also we can label the amplitude of this wave using a voltage divider at the generator. This is all stuff you've seen before, we're just showing it now on a bounce diagram. Once the leading edge of the V1 plus wave reaches the end of the line, a reflection may be generated. We can draw a new line now representing the leading edge of the V1 minus wave. The amplitude of the V1 minus wave is calculated using the amplitude of V1 plus multiplied by the voltage reflection coefficient at the load. So I'll label this V1 minus, which is V1 plus times the voltage reflection coefficient at the load. Likewise, the line labeled with V2 plus shows where the leading edge of the second positive traveling Z voltage wave is at any given moment in time. V2 plus is calculated by multiplying V1 minus by the reflection, the voltage reflection coefficient at the generator. And the bounce diagram continues with the generation of V2 minus and V3 plus and so forth.